Today, we will talk about endogenous growth theory. Endogenous growth theory argues that economic growth is generated from within a system as a direct result of internal processes. It emphasizes that the enhancement of a nation's human capital will lead to economic growth through the development of new technology and efficient means of production. The theory challenges the view of neoclassical economics and suggests that persistent prosperity is influenced by internal processes such as human capital, innovation, and investment capital. Endogenous growth economists believe that improvements in productivity are tied directly to faster innovation and more investments in human capital. Endogenous growth theory emerged in the 1980s as an alternative to the neoclassical growth theory. It questioned how gaps in wealth between developed and underdeveloped countries could persist if investment in physical capital is subject to diminishing returns. Economist Paul Romer played a key role in advocating for the theory and was awarded the 2018 Nobel Prize in Economics for his studies on long-term economic growth and its relationship with technological innovation. One of the biggest criticisms of endogenous growth theory is that it is impossible to validate with empirical evidence. The theory has been accused of being based on assumptions that cannot be accurately measured. Here are three key takeaways. 1. Endogenous growth theory maintains that economic growth is primarily the result of internal forces, rather than external ones. 2. It argues that improvements in productivity can be tied directly to faster innovation and more investments in human capital from governments and private sector institutions. 3. This view contrasts with neoclassical economics. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.